Hey guys, welcome to another computer graphics tutorial. Today we'll be looking at 2D transformation in computer graphics. So this is part one of this 2D transformation series. So let's get started. So what are we going to learn today? We'll learn about introduction to 2D transformations in computer graphics, then some basic geometric transformations and translation in computer graphics. All right. So let's begin with introduction to 2D transformations. All right. So 2D transformation in computer graphics are useful for altering or manipulating the displays. In 2D transformation, animations are produced by either moving the camera or the objects in the scene are moved along the path of the animation. Now there are two categories of 2D transformation. First one is modeling transformation or geometric transformation. And second one is visual transformation. All right. So we'll start with modeling transformation first. So modeling transformation or geometric transformation are transformations where the coordinates of the objects are altered. Okay, and they are altered to change the geometry of the objects. And the basic type of geometric transformations are first one is translation, second is rotation, and third is scaling. All right, so we'll learn about translation today. Now, what happens in translation? So, a translation is applied to an object by repositioning it along a straight line path from one coordinate location to another. Okay, so that is you are just changing the position of an object from one place to another, and we translate the 2D objects by adding translation distance tx and ty to the 2d point to the original coordinate position that is x comma y and move it to the new position x dash comma y dash so x dash is equal to x that is the original coordinate position plus the translation distance that is tx and y dash is equal to y that is the original coordinate position y plus the translation distance ty okay now we'll look at an example to understand the meaning of this all right so let's say we can also represent this translation in computer graphics in terms of a column that is in terms of a matrix by representing them as columns okay so let's say this pair tx comma ty it is also known as translation vector or shift vector okay so let's say we want to represent this as a column so first we have to represent the original position that is x1 and y1 as a column correct then the new position that is x1 dash comma y1 dash x1 dash comma y1 dash is represented as a column and how we get this we get this by adding the translation vector pair okay so that we represent like this tx and ty so p dash that is the new position is equal to original position p plus the translation vector that is tx and ty okay i hope you got this concept now we'll look at an example to understand this okay so let's say we want to translate this line or shift this line uh, we'll draw a line all right so let's say we have got this line over here okay and let's call this x and y okay so this is the x coordinate this is the x1 we'll call it x1 and y1 okay yeah now we can just write down the position so let's say x1 point as coordinates what is the x coordinate here it is 1 comma 1 that is y coordinate is 1 x coordinate is 1 and what about y1 y1 the coordinates are 2 comma 1 2 comma 1 now let's say we want to translate it to a position by adding tx equal to 2 and ty equal to 2 we want to translate to your new position by the translation shift vector as 2 so how do we do that so it's going to be x1 dash is equal to x plus tx and y1 dash is equal to y plus ty okay so let's do this so x was 1 over here in x1 correct and plus tx sorry wait, it should be tx not ty it should be tx okay now 1 plus tx is equal to 2 is going to be 3 so x1 dash over here for this is going to be 3 comma now let's find out y1 dash for this y1 dash is going to be 1 plus what is ty ty is 2 so here it is going to be 3 so the new position of x1 coordinate is going to be 3 comma 3 okay and what about y, uh, y1 point so that is this coordinate so let's find out uh, let's say 
we have got our x coordinate for this y1 okay is 2 plus what is the translation vector it is 2 so so x dash is going to be 4 over here that is 2 plus 2 okay and y dash is going to be 1 plus 2 1 plus ty that is 2 so it is going to be 3 okay so it is 4 comma 3 all right so now we'll point this uh, plot these points so first x1 is going to be at 3 comma 3 so 3 comma 3 is where the new coordinate is going to be x1 dash okay and y1 dash is going to be at 4 comma 3 so 4 comma 3 y1 dash so this is how we translate the position of this line from this coordinate position to this coordinate position using the translation shift vectors that is tx and ty okay now we'll try another example with a triangle okay let's try it out now let's try it out with a triangle okay so let's say we have a triangle over here mm, we'll keep it at this position let's say this is our point a this is our point b and this is our point c okay and this is our triangle all right now we have to transform this triangle or translate this triangle from this position to uh, let's say uh, we'll add it okay let's say our translation vector tx is 2 and ty is 2 okay now we'll translate this translation uh, this triangle from this position to a new position where translation vector is 2 comma 2 okay so our original position for a is what in terms of matrix if we see it is the x coordinate for a is 2 and y coordinate is 3 so 2 comma 3 correct and if you add uh, plus the translation vectors translation vectors are 2 comma 2 okay so it is going to be you add both of them 2 plus 2 it becomes 4 and 3 plus 2 becomes 5 so the new position for a is 4 comma 5 what about b so let's say the position for b is 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 okay the translation vector is 2 comma 2 2 comma 2 okay you add them it becomes 3 comma 3 okay and what about c so c the original position is 3 comma 1 3 comma 1 you add the translation vector that is shift vector 2 comma 2 to it 2 comma 2 it becomes 5 comma 3 okay so these are the new positions for a b c let's plot them so first we'll plot a a is 4 comma 5 4 comma 5 is here okay we have got our a dash then we have got b new position is 3 comma 3 so this is 3 and this is the new position for b dash okay let's just change the color uh, let's use red okay so this is the new position for b new position for a and this is b dash and a dash okay and what about c c's new position is 5 comma 3 so 5 comma 3 that is over here and this is c dash okay now let's join these coordinates a a dash b dash and c dash so this is how we translate a triangle from this position to a new position using the translation vector tx and ty okay so i hope you got this concept if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below and we'll continue with the next 2d transformations this is just part one that is introduction to 2d transformations and translation we'll learn about rotation and scaling and then we'll shift to 
the next type of 2d transformations okay so i hope you got this concept if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below thank you very much so that's it for today guys thank you very much for watching if you have any queries feel free to ask them in the comment section below if you have any suggestions please write them in the comment section below if you like the video please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you very much